A.J. Prepper, a mother of two, she says she's prepping to preserve what she has created. Hey guys, it's A.J. And I just thought I would come out and uh, try to get a video up. I've been um, kind of putting off doing any videos the last couple days because I just have not been in a really great mood and I don't like coming out and doing anything depressing so I thought I'd wait until I was in a little bit of a better mood and uh, try to share with you a couple of new things I got. First off, my Mother's Day was wonderful. My wonderful son made me a necklace from the first AK-47 he ever shot. He picked up his shell and brought it home and said, look what I made, Mom. This is for you for Mother's Day. So he was pretty proud of it, and I'm pretty proud of it, too. And I haven't taken it off since Mother's Day. So if I can get it back around my neck, here we go. I thought that was super sweet. But the main reason that I wanted to come out and share was that I got something in the mail. If you guys remember, not too long ago, a uh, city survivalist, or Mr. Kaiser Knives, did a contest, and he wanted us to draw a design for him and do a video response, and I did that video response. Unfortunately, I lost the contest, so I didn't get him to make my knife from the contest, but he was kind enough to let anybody who joined buy their knife and gave us a wonderful, wonderful deal just so he could have the experience of uh, doing some different designs. And I'm sure if I could see you guys raise your hand, several of you are watching this video just because I put a really, um, oh, cutesy title on it. But it's a very honest title because this is what I got from Kaiser Knives. And I wasn't kidding, guys, when I said, if I can get it out of here, that I think mine's bigger than yours. Which brings me to the point of why I sat directly in the sun, because this thing is gleaming. He's got his little double K maker's mark in there. And this is a single piece trench knife with my uh, little knuckles that I'd drawn and my dagger. And this thing turned out to be a monster. And as uh, City talked when he did the video, uh, it was kind of a challenge. And he thinks I'm a rather difficult little girl right about now. But he did an excellent job and it's beautiful. And I think that it's just super cool that, guys, mine's bigger than yours. We have to exclude swords because uh, that's not fair. This, this is a knife, not a sword. And I think I can do some damage with this puppy. But I wanted to thank City for his hard work and making me a very beautiful knife. And uh, kind of skittish. I, I don't really want to mess it up. But uh, they come with a shop um, sharpness on them. So they're, they're not real sharp. So I'm going to get it sharpened up. And I'll take it out and I'll test it a little bit. But... Until we have a nice big uh, zombie attack, I won't be overusing it too much because it is just too cool. I've got my pretty green handles on here. I'm a green kind of girl. And I have this wonderful sheath with lacing. And uh, I'm thinking about uh, making a pocket in the back of a backpack and sticking it up in there because it's not exactly something you want somebody to see you carrying around. But again, I just wanted to say thanks to City and show you my new goodies and let you know I'm still here. And I thank you guys for all your emails and questions and asking if everything was okay. Um, sorry that you seen I did have a little bit of somberness to me this past weekend. I uh, do my best, like I said, to stay upbeat. Um, don't like depressing anybody and um, sometimes life just throws a few things at you. You gotta keep on going, keep on smiling, keep
keep on prepping because that's how we take care of things. I will talk to you next time and I'll try to get another video out. I uh, can keep my mood going. Maybe I'll do another one here in a little bit. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.